My name is Dorothy. I'm from Amtec Motors. Um, Amtec Motors as a brand has been in operation since um, October of 1953. That gives us almost 70 years experience um, in the motoring industry in Zimbabwe. We have um, we are approved franchises in um, Mazda, Nissan and Tafe. Uh, and we can take care of all your needs in terms of new vehicle sales, in terms of after sales support, and in terms of um, general vehicle maintenance, in terms of repairs and um, services. We have branches in Narare, Blawayo, Gweru, Mutare, Victoria Falls. That gives us a nationwide footprint that means you are able and you are capable of taking care of all your needs um, in Zimbabwe. We also have a mobile service unit that means wherever you are in Zimbabwe we can come to you and we can do um, after sales support for your vehicles in your workshops using our um, fully equipped um, mobile service truck. Um, we also take care of um, tractors and um, implements for the Tafe brand um, so that means whatever you need in terms of uh, equipment in terms of um, tractors we can take care of that as I said earlier we have a nationwide footprint in six branches in total that's Arare, Blawayo, Mashingo, Gweru, Mutare and Vic Falls. Um, we have here on display uh, some Nissan vehicles but apart from Nissan we also do Mazda and we also do Tafe tractors so uh, with me here is a brand new Nissan Magnite. It's yet to be launched. We're going to be doing the launch uh, in a few months time or a few weeks time rather. So it's a 1.0 liter engine and it's turbocharged. And um, as you can see, it's built for this type of um, roads, these types of roads. We have uh, potholes in our, in our roads, although these are being fixed at the moment. But if you look at the wheel size, it's got a very high profile and the type of the rim there is alloy and all the models come with this type of um, wheel and tire size. So it's a four-seater engine, like I mentioned it's turbocharged which means you have a very good fuel economy on this unit and um, you have very good mileage per gallon or rather per litre. Then if you look at the inside of the car, <coughs> Please come see with me. This is the automatic version. We call it CVT uh, in our terms. That's continuously variable transmission. What it means is that it doesn't use gears, but instead uses a cone and a rebo, rather um, a belt that goes up and down the cone to make changes to the gears. So what it means is that you don't have shift shock that happens between gears when you change. So the transmission is smooth in general. Other features in this car, you have cruise control, you have a touch screen, a TFT screen in there, you have Bluetooth connectivity with Apple Play and Android CarPlay. You have also the option of a start button that is uh, located in the rear con uh, center console where you just press the brake pedal and press the start button and then the car goes on right <clears throat> and then you also have steering mounted controls for your multimedia uh, on the steering wheel there so that keeps your hands on the wheel all the time as you operate all the uh, features of the car and then you also have uh, cruise control on the other side to make you drive comfortably over long distances so that's about the the magnite I can take you to our next car, which is the new Nissan Navara. Uh, this is our brand new Nissan Navara. We recently launched this uh, Navara uh, just the end of last year, 2021. So this is the current Navara, which we call a D23. As you might have known, we used to have an MP300, which we call the D22. So this is the progression from the D22 to the D23. You will not be getting the D22 anymore, that is the MP200 uh, from now going forward. Instead, you'll be getting a better vehicle, the D23, which is a progression from the MP300, like I previously said. And it's coming on the same engine, which is a 2.5 litre turbo diesel engine. Um, <clears throat> the features to note on this car are the projector headlamps, which are shown here. This is the Pro 4X, the top of the range. And then you also have daytime running lights on this um, Navara which are designed in a way that is peculiar to the Navara. The, the grille also is extended to make sure that there's a lot of air that is coming into the engine and cooling the whole system and also for your turbo intake. We have what we call 
an all-round view monitor on this car which is a system of four cameras one in the front mounted and two mounted under one on each uh, wing mirror and one in the back so this uh, system the around view monitor it helps you to look at your environment as you drive as you drive in treacherous um, 4x4 situations as you drive over rocks and borders you can click on your uh, camera button and look around and see where the borders are and everything around you you can also use this to reverse you know it's secure sometimes there's something that is below your view but with the camera systems <coughs> it's all sorted out you can see everything literally then you have roof rails mounted at the top here these rails can carry up to 100 kgs of load. So you can also put crossbars there and a roof box. But also keeping in mind that it's only up to 100 kgs. All right, and the inside here, you have the Navara badge mounted in the center of the steering wheel. As you can see, this is premium. It's black written in red. And then you have mounted controls on the steering wheel for multimedia and for cruise control. The Gearbox fitted here is a 7-speed automatic gearbox and it has a manual option which means that you can actually shift by yourself for more convenience in driving or more fun driving or even if you want to do off-road uh, driving and you want to be more in control. This button here is peculiar to the Navara. It's an electric switch for the communications window at the back so that you can also speak to people in the canopy if you have people there. You can just open this and open the camera, the, the canopy communications window and then you have direct communication there. So if you, keep, if you have kids in the back, you are in control of everything. Then you have uh, <clears throat> these leather seats which are designed to give you more comfort. As you can see, these contours will have a massaging effect on your back as you sit on a long drive. And then you have uh, electric controls for, this, for the seats. This button here is for lumbar support. If you can zoom in on the, on the back of the, of the seat, you see that as I control it, this part of the seat, which supports your lower back, goes in and out. It's going out. You see now. So that's for your lumbar support. So you have the backrest adjustment. You have the forward and backward seat movement. You have the up down. So you can lower your, your, your rider, your seat height both the front and the back so that's about all the ergonomics of the driver right then you also have a um, touch screen display unit in the center there that's for your radio that's for your camera and that's for your climate control and also for your navigation so you also have navigation in this car you can put locations you can put um, uh, points like for example if you want to go to Matobo you can just type Matobo and then it will direct you there if you want to go to the safe station you can just type safe station then it show you all the safe station in your vicinity and it can actually give you directions to the one that you click on so it's a very intuitive uh, navigation system and then on the wheels you have the 18 inch rims uh, and the high profile tire for the Pro 4X. This is uh, the top of the range vehicle. It's called a Pro 4X. Um, it's a 4x4. And the profile of the tire, as you can see, it gives you a lot of room to go off-road. So if you're gonna be driving over muddy situations, you can deflate the tire just a little bit so that it gives you a wider tread um, surface. And you can tread over uh, mud and all those um, situations easily. And then the suspension in the back here, you have a leaf spring suspension. The leaf spring is good for your off-road, it's good for your loading, and it's also good for driving on-road. So the leaf spring can carry up uh, loads over a ton in this car. So you can safely transport your cement, your bags of maize, your um, cow. You can even carry cows there, as long as they fit uh, legally with the extra accessories that we put. So that gives us uh, another point of talk, which is accessories. Accessories that we mount on these vehicles include, if you can see, this is a um, tow bow and a tow bar and electrics, you see. So these are add-ons that you can put. We have also put here a canopy, which you can buy from us in addition to the car. And then other accessories that you can mount on this vehicle is a kettle rack which are bars that go around the load, uh, load, uh, load, uh, load bin 
to secure any livestock that you might carry. You might carry goats, you may carry sheep, you may carry um, chickens, anything. So you can add on um, what you call a cattle rack. Then you can also do rubberizing for the vehicle. If you can see inside here, this is the rubberizing that we are talking about. <clears throat> so this prevents your car from being scratched by all the load that you put in here. So you can put drums of fuel, uh, drums of water, any metals that you might want to carry, concrete, anything that scratches your body is prevented from doing so by this material called rubberizing. So all that is available as an accessory. Uh, if you look at the lights here, the lights also come with, uh, they don't come with that, but you can add on what we call um, tail lamp guards, which is this black material here, which is branded in Navara. So the tail lamp guards also give it a more uh, definitive look and spices up the, the appearance of the vehicle. Right, and then in the front also, we have um, headlamp guards, and these are branded Navara as well. So all of these come as add-ons or accessories. So these accessories can be bought with the car or after you buy the car, you can then come in and we do one or two editions as we go. So that's about the Navara. Um, you know Amtec is uh, Mazda Nissan and uh, other cars, but uh, we moved into the agriculture sector, we moved into the agri division um, where we now do the tractors. With us here we've got the Taffy tractor which is from India. Uh, India is for the best tractors and uh, uh, this is Taffy and uh, tractor. Uh, Taffy simply means tractors and farm equipment. That's the acronym for Taffy. So I have uh, with me here the 95 horsepower. It's a, it's a piece, it's a machine, it's a good machine. Um, this 95 horsepower, it comes with a table. It's got a table in it and uh, it can pull up to 24 dish, uh, disc rom. It also can do bailing, you can do a uh, whole lot of things, trailers and stuff. You can also do um, the plowing. So this for farmers for, and also for miners like here in Blowway or for miners, we've got uh, animal husbandry, which is happening. So we can use this uh, tractor for all the sorts of, uh, you know, farm and mining uh, activities. So we, we, we have got different ranges of uh, the tractors. We have the starting from the 30 horsepower up to 100 horsepower. So we have the 95 here and also a 47 horsepower, which is uh, uh, basically for your trailing and uh, for, you can also do plowing like on the small acreage, up to 20 hectares you can do uh, without any problems. So this is a very good machine, which, uh, uh, which I recommend for smallholders farmers, which I recommend for cattle breeding farmers, which I recommend for even on the mine for, for, for the trailer work. So, yeah, we, we call it Tafa Rife because it's the Chaka Gadzi one, the Mande Pam Soro, Chachi, Kanauna Church, Papa Prasen, those that teach it, she knows Koma Nachino Tumika, she knows Tumika, she has, she has, she needs. So, yeah, even if you, if you check, um, it's very simple. I never get Sakawanda, in Gori, in a, I know I get that can can actually the the space are available and uh, uh, the backup service uh, we've got uh, branches all over here in Blawayo we've got the branch we've got branch in Blawa in in, in Gweru branch in Masingo branch in Vic Falls branch also in Arare so in terms of the backup service uh, we are sorted so Kutenga trick daga it's one thing and then to look after it it's another thing. Kutenga is just a, a, an event, then the process of looking after it. So we, 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 we know with this tractor, yeah, 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 you'll be sorted in terms of uh, the, the backup service. So like I said, we have um, the, the, Ford, uh, the Ford 7 horsepower, which is a major, uh, major seller in, yeah, in, in Zimbabwe, and also our our 85 horsepower, which is uh, we, 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 which we don't have here, but uh, 
it's it's quite it's it's quite a good and um, a tractor. So with tractors now, what happens is we cannot just sell a tractor on its own. It has to come with complements like the implements which comes with it. Um, I've got some here. Um, I'll show you around the rack. We have this. Uh, this is what we call the rack. Uh, we use it for uh, making hay. The rack, the balers, the the the, the slashers. Uh, we've got all lots of implements. Maybe I can show you some of them here. And uh, um, as you can see, we've got the rack. We've got the plows. We've got the planters. We've got the molded board plow and the uh, corrupt spares. So these things they work hand in hand with uh, with, the, with the tractors. So the tractors, uh, yeah, it's 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 a good thing. Uh, they don't uh, they, they they bring in money. It's an investment that one can do to you know. It makes life easier at the farm. It makes life easier at the at the mining. So yeah, these are the things that we we we, we recommend for, for 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 farmers and for. For, for our, our miners.